bourbon versus rye, which is better? You probably have a favorite, but have you ever wondered what the difference between them is? American whiskey, and that is whiskey spelt with an E, a spelling that was inherited from Irish immigrants, is best known for its two main varieties, bourbon and rye. And a lot of distilleries will make one of each, like Bullet, for example. The easiest way to explain the flavor difference between the two is to think of the actual grains used when making the spirit. Bourbon has to be at least 51% corn, so it comes out softer and sweeter, kind of like a cornbread whereas rye has to be at least 51% rye. At least in the United States, Canada is a little bit more lenient as it is with most things. So it has a lot more of that savory spice that you would associate with rye bread. The rest of the spirit can be made up of different grains and this can also include wheat and barley. And the amounts of these different grains used is called the spirit's mash bill and is the main difference between different brands of American whiskey. So for instance, you might have a bourbon which also has a fair amount of rye in it. So there's a nice spice to cut through that corn sweetness as is the case with bullet bourbon. Or you could have a bourbon which is predominantly corn and wheat and that's going to be softer, smoother, a little bit sweeter and probably the best known example is Maker's Mark. There are no minimum aging requirements for American whiskey but to be called a straight bourbon or a straight rye it has to be aged for at least two years and if it's any less than four years it has to say so on the bottle. Both are aged in new charred American oak barrels which has a massive impact on the spirit, gives it a lot more flavour like vanilla and caramel. Neither of them tend to be particularly subtle spirits, at least at entry level, so they work really well in powerful cocktails like the Old Fashioned, the Whiskey Sour or the Boulevardier. So now you know the difference, let me know in the comments if you've got any favourites that I might not have heard of. Mm -hmm.